Hey guys, King Cade here and welcome back to another video and in this video we are going to be checking out the brand new RV on a dusty trip. Let's get right into this. So I actually already completed the quest and we have it right over here in our garage. But if y'all don't know how to get this, basically you can get it for free and it's pretty easy. So what you have to do is you have to talk to this dude right here and then you have to hop into the game and collect 25 comic books from him and then return them to him and then he'll go ahead and give you this van right here for free. But anyway, we already went ahead and unlocked it. So let's check it out. So all the way down here at the bottom, the camper van. So look at this thing. This thing is absolutely massive. So this is the camper van compared to the regular van. So this one right here. So look how small this thing looks compared to this. Like this is insane. So we could go ahead and equip our skin on it. But I think it actually looks pretty cool just like this. But anyway, let's go ahead and equip it and let's jump into the game. We're now in the game. So let's go ahead and check it out. So let's run back here. So this is it right here. So this is the regular van, which everyone thought was was massive but now look at this this thing is like crazy long but anyway let's go ahead and toss all the wheels on it i think this also has a special engine and all right this wheel is kind of glitching we'll go ahead and toss that on in a second but anyway let's check it out and no it looks like it does use the regular engine i'm assuming this engine is like twice as fast or something also there is a glitch where like you can't really get through the door to go ahead and fix that just go ahead and toss the door on and then go ahead and open it and then we can just go ahead and walk in just like this so this is kind of like the regular van it goes directly in the middle right there and then the radiator also also goes in the middle so there we go hopefully those are pretty easy to fill up and then everything else just goes on the side not really sure where this thing goes though if y'all know where this goes let me know in the comment section yeah i don't know where to attach that let's go ahead and touch everything else and we connected the last wheel and here's the fuel tank right here by the way it's very small over by the corner and it looks like it actually doesn't come with a tank of gas which does kind of sink so we gotta use the one in here and now we just gotta run back over here and then we gotta go ahead and fill it up and i haven't tested this thing at all but it looks like it's gonna be pretty much impossible to flip it back over if it does end up flipping over also what i realized is that we can't push it so i'm clicking f right now to push it and it looks like we can't so if this thing flips over then i think we're just pretty much done for because there's like no way to flip it back over. Anyway, let's go ahead and hop in though. So if you have a squad of like 10 or 15 people, you could probably fit all of them in here because there's so much room. You could also put like all your weapons and gear back here just to make sure that they don't get destroyed. Anyway, let's go ahead and sit down. Let's start our engine, flip the brake right there, and let's see how fast this thing can go. So this thing is absolutely massive though. I haven't tested this at all, so hopefully it is good. I'm not too sure how good it's going to be at the 5,000 meter mark though, because I think this is probably going to be way too big to actually get past the bridge but anyway it actually looks like we're going super fast if you look down there we're actually already going 160 kilometers per hour which is insane i did not expect to go that fast in just this van right here but hopefully we can maintain the speed and hopefully it doesn't drain our fuel but so far this car is pretty easy to control i feel like if i make a sharp left or right turn then the car will flip over so i'm trying to not move too much right now and i think a solar eclipse event is happening let's actually see if there's headlights and all right the headlights are on but i can't can't see at all so yeah i guess the headlights just don't even appear even whenever they are turned on so that's kind of strange i guess also i forgot to mention the view on this van is actually really good as well like we can see almost everything it's like just as good as the regular van so that's pretty good also also by the way if you haven't already please make sure to smash that subscribe button we're only 10,000 subscribers away from 100,000 so if you could click subscribe that'll be much appreciated we're now approaching 5,000 meters so let's get and start to slow down and i just realized my gas tank is apparently empty so so I guess we'll go ahead and fuel up right here. So let's go ahead and flip this lever. And all right, there we go. Complete stop. And let's go ahead and click E to leave. And all right, it almost teleported us off the edge. But yeah, so apparently we're almost out of gas. So let's go over here and let's check it out. So yeah, zero liters. So this car actually drains your fuel. Why crazy? I didn't expect it to drain our fuel that fast. But as long as you're going decently fast, you should be able to make it to 5,000 meters. Because it looks like it uses nine liters of gas every 5,000 meters. So of course you can use the gas at spawn. And then we have two nine liters of gas over here so there should be enough for you to make it to 15,000 meters if you don't stop at all if you do stop at all then you will have to get a little bit more gas but that should be fine but anyway we went ahead and fueled up also the more that i think about this car the more that i'm not too sure if it's gonna work out especially at the 10,000 meter spot because at the 10,000 meter spot i'm not even sure if it's gonna be able to fit through and a meteor shower is happening at the same time hopefully we don't get hit or else we will fly off the edge and all right i thought we were about to get stuck right there for a second and let's align ourselves and and there we go. And now we should just be able to speed up on this last part. This last part right here is usually pretty easy. And there we go. Awesome. So we were actually able to make it past the 5,000 meter bridge pretty easily. So you don't even have to worry about that. Just make sure that you do go slow. And then you should easily be able to pass it. But now the next challenge 
is the 10,000 meter mark. I'm not even sure if this van is going to be able to fit through due to how big it is. But if this van is able to fit through the 10,000 meter mark, then that would actually be pretty insane. Also, another thing that I did just realize is you will want to pay attention to your oil because we're already almost out of oil. So make sure that you do stack up on that. You don't really need too much water. Like we're still pretty good on water right now. Most cars would have already been out, but make sure that you do pay attention to your oil or else you will run out that pretty quickly as well. We now made it to 10,000 meters. We are almost out of oil, but it should be enough to make it past here. And okay, we just drove straight through that tornado. And oh right, yeah, that tornado spawned right in front of us, but we drove straight through it. Maybe that's a buff of the van or maybe the tornado just glitched out and didn't like carry us away but anyway let's see if we can fit through here i'm actually surprised we were able to get through that first area but now let's see if we can make it through the rest and they might have modified this area to make it easier i don't remember it being this easy but so far it looks like we can actually get through here super easily with the van and we already made it all the way through i did accidentally crash into that rock but yeah we already made it through this entire area without even messing up well almost i did kind of get stuck right here a little bit and there we go we already went ahead and fixed ourselves so never mind the 10,000 meter mark is not a challenge for the van at all we got through there super easily none of our doors got destroyed either which is awesome i mean we are out of oil now so sadly we can't continue but yeah so far that was actually pretty easy and those would be like the main two struggle points for the van and we went ahead and passed them because the 15,000 meter checkpoint and then the ghost town will be super easy for you to go ahead and pass through in your van with the 5 and 10,000 meter mark i thought it would be a much bigger challenge but we actually got through them super easily which is very very nice but anyway while we're out here let's actually go ahead and check out the headlights since it is nighttime so let's go and push this button and as we can see the blue light is on and yeah this car apparently just has no headlights maybe they're just like glitching out or i'm clicking the wrong button but yeah so they have no headlights so that's kind of a downside but it looks like they did make it so you can actually see around you whenever it turns nighttime now so that shouldn't even be a problem that you no longer have headlights so so overall this van right here is actually pretty good i thought it would be pretty bad but yeah i would definitely recommend doing the quest and getting this right here i probably wouldn't use it because there's definitely better cars than this van right here but it is pretty fun to use so if you don't have any other cars then i recommend trying out this van because it is actually pretty fun to use even though you do have to go ahead and constantly fuel up also i will go ahead and test out the van combined with some of the other cars and maybe it will be even better because maybe if you go ahead and take the engine from like the f1 car or maybe the engine from the nightshade car right here and if you go ahead and put it inside the camper van maybe it would go like extremely fast because there are some other cars where if you go ahead and swap engines it actually makes it go like 10 times faster so i think what i might try is i might take the engine from the nightshade car put it in the van and then i'll also take the wheels from the f1 car over here and i'll also attach them to the van and we'll see how fast that can go the only problem is we can't really flip it over but if we manage to not flip over and we have the engine from this car and the wheels from this car i think it would actually go insanely fast so if y'all want to go ahead and see me try that make sure to smash that subscribe button but anyway that is gonna be all for this video though so make sure to leave like, subscribe, and turn on post notifications, and I will see you all in the next video.